Hey guys, I am sharing with you today just kind of an off the cuff, like intuitive skincare Sunday. So even though I did like a little bit of heavy um, skincare last night, my skin does feel very like dry this morning. So first things first is I'm going to spray liberally Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. Uh, also going to apply this Kosa Sport Lip Balm in Baseline and smear this all over my lips. This has hyaluronic acid in it so it's super duper moisturizing. And then I'm going to go into the masking part. So. I had to go run to get one thing, but everything else I had already. But ideally, you would have pretty much all of these exact ingredients and do the same face mask as me. In this bowl, I have about a fourth of a smashed avocado. Oops. And maybe just a little bit more than a tablespoon of plain, full-fat Greek yogurt. So... Avocado, if you just have avocado oil, I'm sure you can use that too, but I just wanted like the full benefit of everything in the avocado. And then I'm doing full fat Greek yogurt. I, that's what I normally have on hand. I know you can use plain yogurt, but I think especially since I'm feeling deprived of moisture, that full fat is very important and that it's plain. You don't want anything that's been like all those sugars are added. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of apricot oil. As you can see here, I really like this one. I'm pretty sure I found it at my um, local co-op and you can find it a lot of different places. Um, normally I would look in the health food section over like the fats and oils section. A little squirt of this. Not super specific here. Um, apricot oil is super good for your skin, especially if you're applying it in just a mask form. Um, I'd say I just added like maybe half a teaspoon if you really do need to measure it out. And then the last ingredient I'm going to add is a little scoop of this Manuka honey. Um, I would say that you could definitely swap for just regular honey, but you should make sure that it's raw honey. All the pollen and different things in honey is what makes it really beneficial. And honey is a Hemuctin, I, I'll spell that out for you. I can't remember how to say it off the top of my head. But basically, it really, it doesn't just keep everything moisturized. It draws more moisture to your skin. So I really enjoy face masks with a little bit of honey in them. As you can see, it's this gorgeous golden color. And with my little silicone spatula, I'm literally just going to dip it in there. That's as much as I'm going to use. What you are left with is this bright green um, we are going to apply this and first I am going to apply this Eminence Overnight Lotus Detoxifying Treatment um, just to get this can help draw out impurities, but it is also pretty moisturizing. So, just applying a little bit like this. To my face. Initially, and that will soak in really deep as this mask sits on. And now here we go. 
I'm probably going to apply this pretty thick and try not to drop any of it. Oops, that went really well. And while I am applying this, I thought I could talk you through some of these specific ingredients and why I chose them. So first ingredient is avocado. Well, looks like I'm washing these sweatpants today. <laughs> um, and it has a lot of antioxidants, which is just really good for overall health. Um, they help control and eliminate free radicals, which are known to be a carcinogen. It also has vitamin C in it, which is what aids in the production of collagen. Also has vitamin E, which helps with skin's oxidative stress stress and um with any uv damage your skin may have come across mainly the essential fatty acids which is what is making this really moisturizing for your skin the apricot oil is again super high in essential fatty acids just like the avocado which is really good um apricot oil though is really gentle so it's very good for sensitive skin and like aging hum honey is a humectant there's the word um it again helps bring moisture like deep within so it helps skin retain its own moisture which is what i need i don't want to just apply moisturizers and then have to do it again in a little bit like i want my skin to really take in this moisture that I'm putting on it and like hold it itself and honey is also an antiseptic which can really help with breakouts my skin's not breaking out too badly right now but I know I am prone to breakouts so it'll be good for me to just you know keep fighting that without stripping my skin like a lot of acne products can do specifically conventional and not clean acne products um, and honey contains amino acids, so it helps build protein, um, which helps like anti-aging. Yogurt is rich in alpha hydroxy acid, which is a really good exfoliator. Um, and then the bacteria in it can really help balance the skin. So because of its antifungal and, act and bacterial properties it can help cleanse and unclog the pores so yogurts are exfoliator in this helping get any of the dry dead skin out of the way and lifting it separating it from my good like rejuvenated skin and then the avocado apricot oil and honey are like really bringing moisture in and sending it deep into my skin i'm gonna leave this on for probably like 20 minutes and then I'll come back on here and show you how I'm gonna like help lock in all this moisture. In about 20 minutes, I believe. So you can see it's starting to like dry and oxidize a little bit, but that's all good. So I'm going to rinse this off and be right back on here. So I am all nice and rinsed off. And I am going to now apply Glow Luxury Oils Regenerative Hydrosol. Um, normally I would just spray it on my face, but I'm going to use a little cotton wrap. It's cleansing without having to like strip everything. Next I'm doing this Honeydew Youth Nectar from Good Medicine Beauty Lab. I absolutely love this serum. This is still the deluxe sample slash like travel size um, and it lasts so long and I think I will definitely be repurchasing and so a little bit goes a long way. I'm still working through this little sample of this glow regenerative oil um, and I'm like holding on to it with, with my dear life because I love it. Um, 
we'll see when I repurchase, but I will most likely be repurchasing at some point. And given the winter here, I probably need to invest in her moisture mask. I'm not feeling like I have like night cream or cold cream on, you know, I don't feel like I had like just put so much crap on my face. I feel like I really moisturized it on a deep level and now I'm just locking it in. Um, so I think everyone should definitely try it with this changing seasons. We're probably all feeling a little drier than normal. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that maybe you go to the grocery store later and get some of these ingredients and also participate in a skincare Sunday with me. Um, and yeah, if you do try this mask, tag me in it and let me know. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great Sunday. Bye.